This episode has been kindly sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Holy moly. All right, guys, we're pulled in behind the back of the reef here. We're about to jump in for a snorkel, turn the motor off, and we look down, and there's these two huge, huge, huge humpback whales like right underneath She's the boat. Under. This is absolutely crazy. That was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. The size of them just takes your breath away. It was, oh, unbelievable. Jess is currently working on her PhD in Irukandji jellyfish. So whenever we're having a swim, she's got her eyes out for these little tiny jellyfish. If this one here stung you, you'd be in all sorts of trouble. All right guys, so what we're gonna try to do now, where we are on this reef, it's actually the reef of the oldest shipwreck in Australia's history, 1622. A boat was wrecked here. The boat was called Trial. Uh, that's 150 years before Captain Cook and his mates bumped into the east coast area of Australia. Where it's located on this reef is, it's, it's gonna be pretty challenging to try and dive. I've dropped Jess and Fran in, but as you can see, there's kind of a big swell making on this reef and crashing over. So the actual site where there's some cannons and some old anchors um, might actually be in the surf zone. We might not be able to get to it, but we're gonna have a, a good look around anyway. Such a contrast now out here now we think of this place as an absolute paradise like there's the marine life there's the whales like you just saw but um, back in 1622 this place would have literally been hell on earth with the the lack of resources they had there's just not a more horrible place to have been um, stranded back in 1622 oh here's a bit of a swell here in the middle of the ocean oh i better get out of the surf zone here have a look at this wave. Oh, that's a big one. Let's get out of here. Quite 
quite miraculously a good proportion of the crew actually survived the shipwreck here um, they constructed a boat and they jumped on their kind of life raft and then they sailed from here up to the place that was called Batavia which is modern day Java so that's a feat in itself crazy times back in 1622 now it is far more casual we just um, jump in have a bit of a swim see if we can catch some dinner yeah life's good in Alright guys, now while we've gotten pretty comfortable with the sharks out there in the wild, it's the sharks that are lurking around these kind of areas that make me really nervous. Let me explain. So on a recent trip, we we're traveling through the airport to film the next series and we thought we were connecting to the airport Wi-Fi, but what ended up happening? Somehow someone managed to hack our bank details and that the actual physical card is in my pocket while they've gone on a spending spree around the country. So here at Back to Basics, we're now taking our security measures a little bit more serious and that's why I'd like to introduce Surfshark VPN. Uh, it's a virtual private network and they do two things that are pretty cool. So firstly, they will stop all that hacking that happens when you're in areas like this. But the other thing they do, the second really popular thing that they can do is it allows you to change your location. So now that we've left Australia, a lot of our favorite shows aren't actually available overseas, but we can change on the Surfshark app. So we are now streaming all the Australian programs, which is really, really cool and really useful for these long flights and long stopovers. Enter the code back to basics to receive 83% off and three months for free on unlimited devices. There's also a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk in trying it out. Now back to the action. We've got to catch something for dinner. Now got enough for dinner but this time of the year there's lots of jellyfish around so Jess is really really keen to get her hands on another couple. While looking for these tiny creatures in the current lines we get the surprise of our life when this giant shows up. This is the largest fish in the ocean, a whale shark and an experience we will never forget. Holy shit! So cool. goodbye to our new mate as this gentle giant disappears off into the depths but then out of the deep blue another one appears this one with its mouth open and feeding while these guys are the largest fish in the ocean they actually feed on one of the smallest critters they're filter feeders so they swim around with their mouth open like this picking up plankton and it's also got a couple of distinct scars here look at its dorsal fin and its pec fin either a bite or an old propeller cut from an engine 
but they're not the only ones sniffing around this current line for a feed. Made it back to shore. We just kept the one mackerel today for dinner. There's a bit of talk amongst the troops of fish curry for dinner. So we'll fill it him up and then Fran will treat us to fish curry. All right, so that's gonna be our dinner. Um, beautiful fillets off these mackerel. On these trips, we don't, thanks mate. Thank you very much for that. On these trips, we don't carry any cold space, like no ice, no fridge freezer. So it becomes like um, a forced way of being super selective with what we bring home to eat. And we just can't have any wastage at all. So keeping one fish like that is, is what it's all about for us, enough for a feed. And it becomes less about, you know, trying to catch the biggest or, or, the, or the best fish. It's just really cool seeing those fish and appreciating them and um, just bringing home enough for a feed. That's definitely the way forward, I reckon. Did you squeeze it good? <laughs> yeah, get it in there. Yeah. Look at that. It's a real juicy one, that one. <laughs> Work. So we've got ceviche for entree. Yeah. And then curry. And then curry's starting to get prepared here. Awesome. Well done, girls. I got eaten before we could even get a video of it without hungry, ravenous. Alright, this looks good, Pam. What is it? It will be a carb. Nice. Smells delicious. What do you got in there? Garlic, potatoes, cherry onion. tomatoes, mm -hmm. onion. Yeah. And zucchini, fish, mackerel, lemon. zucchini, lemon. What about that? Wow, that's that looks great, thank you. Amazing. Well done, Fran. Ooh, a little bit too much rice in here. It looks so good, Fran. Well done. Thank you. Just a reminder that that Surfshark VPN special discount for the B2B viewers is available through the link in our description.